Today, I'm gonna to be making these Duncan Hines. This is the keto-friendly chewy fudge brownie mix. It was $5.49 at Kroger, and this was a requested video. So if you're wondering, why are you doing keto, making keto brownies, you're not keto. Well, we do try lots of different foods. Um, it's fun to try different things, and uh, so why not? This was a requested video, and I figured uh, I had been interested when I saw them at the store, just as wondering what they would taste like, you know? So it's uh, keto-friendly, gluten-free. It has three grams of net carbs. It says thick and fudgy. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, Mine's getting there. It's almost there. And you can bake these in an 8x8 eight eight or a 9x9 nine nine inch pan. I'm choosing one. You can tell this has been around. This was a pan that was my mother's that she gave to me years ago. Uh, this is a 9x9 nine nine inch pan. It says to grease the pan. So a lot of brownies just say grease the bottom. This one says grease the whole pan. So I took some vegetable spray and uh, just lightly grease the pan. Uh, for this recipe, you will need a third cup of water, two eggs, and six tablespoons of melted butter. So, we are going to basically open this box, dump it all uh, into the bowl, stir it together, and then we're going to uh, bake it. Uh, since we're doing nine by nine, we're gonna bake it for 20 to 24 minutes. I'll probably go for 22 minutes. Okay, so these brownies look a little bit different than regular brownies. Um, I'm just gonna cut it. I have allowed them to cool completely though, uh, but they just, they do look different. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell you. So, um, here's how it looks. And we'll take it over to the table and give it a try. Okay, so it is, like I said earlier, it's gluten-free, three grams of net carbs, zero grams of added sugar, uh, thick and fudgy. I wouldn't say it's thick, but I did use a nine by nine inch pan. So you can use an eight by eight. If you use an eight by eight, it's gonna be a little bit thicker. Um, it is one twelfth of the package, 24 grams is 140 calories per one twelfth. Oh, baked. Okay, so that was dry. We don't even want to look at the dry because nobody's going to make it like that. Who's going to make it without eggs and butter? Um, so baked, it's 200 calories for a 12. I just pulled the gooey part in the middle out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the head shape like? The texture is much different than I thought it would be. Looking at it, it looks like it would be dense. And it's super grainy. But it actually has some springiness to it. It does. Um, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, no. It's, I mean, it doesn't replace regular brownies. No. But But if you're on keto. If I'm on keto, I could eat those occasionally. Uh-huh. They have a good enough chocolate flavor to where they're good. Mm -hmm. The The... It is a, it's not grainy like in some keto stuff is really grainy. Yes. It does have a little bit of that wet paper towel kind of yes. texture. It really, and I know that makes no sense to you whatsoever at all, but if you've ever put a wet paper towel in your mouth, you know what it feels like. Um, the people are thinking, what are you doing in your spare time, Kevin? <laughs> um, that has that kind of texture, you know, like a wet paper kind of texture. Right. Um, no, you have said that about other keto things as well. So uh, yeah. it all has the same kind of overall texture. Right. However, I don't mind this. I don't either. And if I was doing keto, um, I was requested to try this by somebody on Instagram, and she said her dad's keto, and she said they both watch our videos. And um, I don't want to give. I don't know her real name, and I don't want to give her Instagram handle out. Um, but she said they both watch her channel and her dad does keto. 
I think with your dad doing keto, I think he will be happy with these. I think, especially if you're not eating, he's not eating any regular brownies. Sweets. Yes, then this is going to uh, give him that shot of something that he needs. And yeah. I think he'll appreciate it. Flavor wise, it is. It, I like the flavor of it mm -hmm. actually really well. It's not bitter, it's not anything bad. No. Um, the only thing that's a little off putting is the texture a little bit, but it's. It's nowhere near as bad. But if he's the eating stuff. like the Quest chips and stuff oh, like that, those are awful. Then see, that's what Kevin's talking about with that texture. If he's used to eating stuff like that, he won't mind this at all. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If any of you all are keto watching, I'm sure you are. Let us know what you thought of these. They not only have brownies, but they also have cakes as well. <coughs> So there's a lot that they have to offer these days for people people on keto, which I think is awesome. So I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.